What's up guys? This is Showtime with Showtime for Shred Fitness over here. Size, growth, get big. Alright, why am I talking so quiet? It's because I got family sleeping. I just got done working graveyard at the casino. Alright, so a lot of you guys, I know, you know, you're hungry, you know, young athletes, junior high, high school, maybe your grid kids, right? Because for you, you know, you are when you're a kid, yeah, I'm gonna be an, I'm gonna be an actor and make millions of dollars in the movies. You know, that confidence might start dissipating as you get older, right? Or people say, Oh, you're gonna be realistic. But uh so you know, maybe maybe as a four year old, you know, I wanna be a pro football player and by the time you're out of high school, eh, I don't know. But people go through stages, right? Sometimes people just haven't cleared their mind. They wanna be a professional athlete from the time they're a little kid until they actually either make it or don't make it. So, for you guys that have those types of dreams, ambitions, goals, vision, I think that's great. And put in your mind and set that vision board up there and don in your mind, train with beasts, become one, work with a strength coach, speed coach, okay? Do everything you can, study film, watch inspirational, motivational videos, do every freaking thing possible to be the best in your sport that you can to be an expert in your field, to light people up when you hit them, okay? Um, if you're on defense, and to keep your feet moving all the time. If you're on the ball on offense, watch the ball and as you, as you uh, catch it the whole time. Never take your eyes off the ball. Run a field, drop it when you got six points. Don't do that. Watch it all the way in. Then look up field and go. Uh, but everything, everything from the meticulous 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Remember, remember this though, this is very important. There are out of every 250,000 athletes with ambitions to go pro in basketball, football, whatever have you, okay? Even bodybuilding, one in every 20,000, okay? Um, 250,000 athletes, one goes pro, okay? Out of those that do go pro, the average, the average NFL career, two to five years, injuries, Cuts, getting fired, traded, this and that thing. Three to five years. Two to five years sometimes, okay? Two to three years sometimes. Check it out. Don't get yourself in that trap to where you're going to be all out of money and be a fucking shooting store. So I have things planned. You can you can learn to do all these different spin-offs, okay? Because it's not just you in the world. You can help other people. You can become a great coach. Okay, um, or maybe you can be an announcer. Um, there's so many different ways to contribute to the sport and still make some money. Uh, I hate to see you be one of these people that does well for a while, gets injured, or doesn't make it. Whatever it is, you got no money. Okay, or you f you fuck it all off. Okay, because you think you're gonna have it for a long time. You don't you don't think that that you don't uh, that you're not gonna have it for a long period of time. You think you're gonna have it for several years. And you don't a lot of times. So you gotta you gotta be smart. You gotta have invest money invested, saved, and all that other stuff. Um, a spin off of that job so that if that one goes awry you got something else to pick up. Maybe you invest in some businesses, real estate, you know, maybe you got a great coaching job and remember some of those pays if you're not gonna the top levels of the pro in college, um, you're not a coach for them, okay? You're not gonna make much money as a coach compared to an NFL player. So you're gonna have to learn a budget. And don't just fucking roll off. You gotta be smart. Save, invest, save for the future, <laughs> study finances, study economics, uh, study sales even. Um, Cause you gotta sell yourself, you gotta market yourself. You gotta be marketable too. Especially nowadays, uh, you, they look at everything now. Even for college scholarship they want. They don't put you in and want a basket weaving anymore. They want your 3 to 3.5 to 4.0 uh, grade point average. They want you smart, okay? Um, they don't want you to get in any trouble at all. Not in trouble with any the law or anything else. They want you to be articulate. They want you to be somewhat marketable. They don't want you to be a, just a duh, dumb guy, okay? They're actually, somebody that can actually make the, the the federation some money, especially when you get out of college into professionals, right? Um, somebody that can talk, somebody that can, you know actually be marketable as well as, and entertaining as well as, you know, putting on a great show on the football field, even though, yes, that comes first, you're, you're, you 
talk all the shit you want. And if you're a shitty athlete, it doesn't fucking matter, right? So you gotta be able to back it up. So you wanna do the, you know, obviously you have the talent and the hard work and the success first, you know, before you start running your mouth, you know. So, but that's that's what I want you to think about it, is make an impact with other people, help other people so that um, if you get to the point where you're, you're not 100% uh, of the support yourself, that way you still can fuel that competitive edge. And I can tell you, as a, as a, I'm not a football coach. I did a little bit of foot, coaching for football in uh, in the 90s, okay, and even early 2000s. I did a little bit of football coaching, a little bit of wrestling coaching. Um, so it's a blast. But, uh, you know, being a prep coach and, and things like that, and a traditional trainer, um, you get more, res everybody's different, okay, but I got more satisfaction to help other people in more of a high and a rush than than when I was competing and winning myself. So keep that in mind. Um, it's a very rewarding experience because so you blow something out, blow out a knee, blow out a back, blow out a shoulder. If you can't play for a while or ever again, you're going to be fucking depressed if you don't have somebody to fuel that fire because you got that competitive edge still. You, no, nobody with that kind of, if it's in your blood, you're so warrior and you love to fucking compete and train, you, you, you're not just going to say, you know what, no big deal, let's go drink beer and fucking put the, get a belly and stick it on my stomach and use it as a, as a cup of holes. You can want to do that, right? You can have that competitive edge and that addictive personality, and if you don't have somewhere positive to fuel it, it, it can be a fucking recipe for disaster. You don't want to do that. So, alright, just keep that in mind. It's been showtime. Showtime, should try to fit over here. Size, growth, get big. Yeah, and uh, haircut, Hot City. I got I got it Hot City, Hair Salon, Pasco, or at Lupita's Beauty Salon or Turo's Bar Barbershop, also in Pasco. They do the Showtime Shredded Lightning Bolts as well. This time I got it at Sadie's. They don't. They do the lines, but not the lightning bolts. Okay, that's our Turo thing. But uh, all right, y'all have an awesome weekend. Take care and God bless. And by the way, Cliff won his basketball game. They beat the undefeated Park Middle School team, and uh, and they're still they were both undefeated going in. But Highlands is still undefeated, and they were undefeated last year. Cliff's team was. They went ten and zero last year. Kicked ass, took names. So they got ten. They got nine more ball games to go um, this year. But hey, we're off to a good start. It's only one by one point, but wins a win, right? Look how many Seattle's won this year, and they've only got a two losses for the whole season, and, uh, and all their losses have been by a couple of points, most of their wins also by a couple of points, so a win's a win, baby, a win's a win, go Hawks, great job, Kamaikin and Tanner Sullins done a great job this year, making it to playoffs, and having a winning season and all that stuff, and the Colts going to the Super Bowl banquet on Monday, alright, it's been showtime, showtime, should finish over here.